Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the VI editor in Linux. So without installing the Linux operating system, so you can directly download the application from the Play Store so that I, I have already shown you in the previous sessions. So I will post the link in the description section so that you can directly download the app from the Play Store and you can use these Linux commands, right? So I have done that. So I will just open this one. So this is the Ubuntu app which I have downloaded from the Play Store. So I have opened. So my Linux terminal is open. So now we required an editor to write the programs and to execute them. So here we are having the editor called a VI editor. So simply you can use the VI enter. So automatically the editor will be opened. And this editor it will be worked in two different modes. That is a insert mode and a command mode. So if it is in insert mode, so whatever the text you are typing that will be displayed on the screen. That means we can write the instructions on the screen. That means in the editor. So if it is in command mode, so if you press any key, it will be worked as a command and that particular task will be specified. I mean applied to the text. So in order to initially it will be in the command mode. So if you press I alphabet I in the keyboard, so that will be changed to the insert mode. You can observe at the bottom. You can observe at the bottom if I press I so insert. So whatever I am typing it will be displayed here. Welcome to Linux VI editor, right? So if you press enter, automatically it will be going to the new line. And here you can observe on the leftmost side, there is a tilde operator. So tilde operator means that line is unused line. Okay. So if you just press enter, you can observe here. So the tilde has been disappeared in the second line and third line. So that means these two are the used lines, but an empty lines. But the third lines, right? So that means the, from the third line, there is a... Uh, a tilde operator starting with the tilde operator that implies it is an unused line and we are supposed to use that so i will i will write down the text right so in order to write down the text the mode must be in a insert mode so you can you can uh, uh, find out here at the bottom so there is a insert now thanks for watching this session right so i have given some kind now i just want to apply the command mode right so in the command mode if you press any key automatically that will be uh, i mean that will be worked as a command right so in order to move from insert mode to command mode press escape button in your keyboard so just press escape so you can observe at the bottom there is no insert now it will be in the command mode so in the command mode see if i press l okay or if i press h if i press h automatically the cursor will be so the h will not be presented here so the if you press h the cursor will be moving towards its left side see h i am pressing h right so if you press l the cursor will be moving on right hand side see so if i am pressing h or l so the letters was not displayed in the screen these two are working as a commands okay h is to move the cursor towards left side l is used to move the cursor towards right side right see uh, i will tell you so vi editor so here uh, l moving cursor towards left and h moving cursor towards right next see j moving cursor down okay moving cursor down so i will write here so in that mode line one line two 
line 3 line 4 and line 5 right so now we are having a different lines now i just want to move cursor upwards so you can use the arrow mark no problem and if you want to move the cursor without the insert mode press escape so that the insert mode will be change it to the command mode now press k so that the cursor will be moving upward so alphabet k is used to move cursor upward and alphabet j is used to move the cursor downward so k is used to move moving cursor up sorry down uh, sorry up and uh, j moving cursor downward right so this is the thing l is for left uh, sorry right and h is for left j is for down k is for up now if you want to insert if you want to insert one thing is i pressing i is for insert right see insertion so i is for insert and if you press a small a small a the insertion will be done after the cursor see see the here the insert mode is applied and now cursor is on second line okay second column line three second column here you can observe so these are the lines okay line and the position of the cursor okay third line and second column third line and second column you can observe here so one two three third line second column the cursor is in second column now whatever the content you are writing that will be displayed here itself so once again i'm repeating so now it is in command mode if i press a small a so now you can observe here the cursor is at third row fifth column now if you want to insert the content after five just press small a so that see the cursor is moved to sixth position and now whatever the content is written so that will be presented here and if if you press a capital a then the insertion will be started end of the line see i am pressing capital a so the insertion will start at the end of the line right so small a insertion begin before uh, sorry after the cursor after cursor then if it is a capital a insertion begins at end of line end of line right and similarly small o if you press a small o a new line will be given before cursors see new line new line is appeared right and if you press a capital o sorry see above the line a new line will be created okay see once again i am saying so this is a command mode and now the cursor is at last of the second line so you can observe here the position is second line 33rd column and if i if i press a small o then a new line will be created after the cursor see small o i am pressing small o in the command mode new line will be created after the cursor and if the same thing if i press a capital o a new line will be created above the cursor see okay above the cursor so a small o inserts new line after cursor after cursor and capital o inserts new line above cursor above cursor right so hope you understood this word insertion so if it is a command mode if you press any of the key that will be acted as a command and if you are using some i then it will be insert mode so you can simply use the arrow marks to move the cursor up and down and you can move a backspace or uh, the arrow marks to move the cursor uh, towards the left or right or up and down right so next how to apply the copy and paste 
just I want to copy the line. So simply you select the cursor here and go to the command mode and press Y Y double Y and move the cursor here and just apply P so that it will be pasted. So double Y copies the content and P copies the I mean paste the content. So here you can see copy and paste. So double Y it copies the current line and P paste the copied line right it paste the copied line so everything should be done in a command mode so in the insert mode just we are inserting that means we are typing the content so if you want to apply the copy and paste in all these things you have to go to the command mode so switching from insert to command we have to press escape see v editor so i will write this one also command mode insert mode so pressing i it will move to insert mode small i or a capital i whatever it may be and see pressing escape button in your keyboard there will be escape button so that it will move to the command mode right so hope you understood this one now we have written some content now the question is how to save the content how to save the content so in order to save the content first you need to move to the command mode so if it is in insert mode if it is in insert mode so you, you are able to add a new lines or you, you can delete the existing lines whatever it may be editing can be done and after completion of your editing so if you want to save so here there are different options you if you want to save or if you want to quit if you want to quit without save or if you want to save and quit there are different options and for those options you need to change the mode to command mode so change the mode to command mode now you can observe we have not given any name here just we have given vi in a terminal so that the editor has been opened now i have to give the name so in order to save the file go to the column first first step in order to save the first step is go to command mode command mode by pressing escape escape key then use colon colon w to save okay so colon w is to save the file okay save the content save the content so if you are not giving any uh, file name here you can give here see first dot txt right so here you can observe the at the bottom first dot txt eight lines 103 characters written so this content has been saved in first dot txt now if you want to quit okay so w or you can simply go with w and give the file name if you are not open the file so here the two things we can done that is if you press vi editor will be opened will be opened without any any file name just we have seen or else you can also go with vi file name so editor will be opened with file name with given file name. right with a given file name. right now we have done the first one that means we have just typed vi so that we have not given any file name so now we have given the file name with the help of uh, colon w and file colon w file name if you have opened the v editor with a file name simply you can go with the colon w to save the content so to save content with 
file name okay right that is with save and if you want to quit if you want to quit so simply you can go with a colon q quit the file right that's also go to the command mode colon q press enter you can observe here so if you want to check simply go with the cat uh, first dot txt so that whatever the content we have written that will be displayed on the screen so cat command is used to display the content on the screen right and see once again i will open this one vi first dot txt so automatically the first dot txt will be opened in the vi editor right now if you modify if you've done any modification here see i will go with the insert mode so now i will write a one more line so six and seven and i just want to save this again the same thing go to the command mode w slash the, uh, i mean colon w and if you don't want to save the thing so simply go with the colon and if you don't want to save this uh, the, the modifications and you want to quit go to the colon q and call exclamation mark so colon q exclamation mark so quit the file without saving without saving the content without saving the content now I will, I will show you that so now we have added line 6 and line 7 so I am just quitting without saving this one right and once again if I use the same thing you can observe here there is no line 6 and line 7 because we have closed the file without saving the text and if you want to close the file with saving so then so go to the insert mode I will insert the two more lines here so line 6 and line 7 I just want to save this uh, modification so go with the colon W and Q so save and quit so there is a one more um, command that is a WQ which is used for save the content and quit the file quit the file save the content and quit the file so you can observe here if i press enter automatically it will be done and simply use a cat uh, it will display the content here see line 6 and line 7 are there so not only that you can also go with the vi editor so again here also you will get a line 6 and line 7 and by using this vi editor you can execute the programs you can write the instructions in c language you can write the instructions in python language and you can execute the programs so that already i have recorded the sessions so i will also place the uh, link in the description section for that so how, how to execute the c programs and how to execute the python programs in vi editor in linux so you can uh, refer to those links right so this is the overview of uh, vi editor which is available in the linux right so this will be very useful for you to execute the programs and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section and definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much